Well guys, what a night it was last night. Um, we tried to get some sleep, which we somehow did, uh, but there was a party here all night till like 7 a.m. And uh, yeah, the Spanish people sure know how to party. I'll give them that. Uh, great time, but it's a nice sunny morning here. And uh, we are going to be heading out and going to Guazu Falls today for the whole day. So, and then we're on a bus later to go to Buenos Aires. And then we're out to New Zealand. So, a couple of days here left in South America. Oh, this is our hostel. And this is what I'm waking up to this morning. What a view. Time to go to Guazu Falls. Alright, so we're here at the park. This is definitely going to be one of the highlights of our trip for the six months. Looking back on this day, but uh, we're here at Park Nacional Iguazu. And uh, we got our tickets. There we go, we got our tickets and it's 500 per tickets. Um, if you're from Brazil, Ar Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay or Paraguay. Brazil, uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, Venezuela, yeah, it's 400. It's 400. And, and Argentinians pay like half, so. Yeah, I guess that's, we cannot pull off. We are Argentinians. I guess we can't pull that off, <laughs> but that's okay. We're going in the park now, let's go enjoy. We're now. Bye. We're now in the park right now and uh, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful day and uh, we're gonna go get a map right now and then we're gonna try to do the whole park. We have about five hours so we'll see how that goes. I guess we're entering <laughs> danger zone. I cannot wait guys. This is so exciting. So we have the park of the map now. It says it takes about five hours to do everything. We are here now, walking from entrance to walk to here, and there's a train station take you all the way to here. When you get off, you get to do the upper trail to see all the upper waterfall and come down. And then you do the lower trail to see all the lower part of the waterfall. There's and the main waterfall right there, yeah. Yeah, and then you come back and then take the train all the way up to here and then you get to see this part. From up. above the waterfall. Above. You can see that. I think that's going to be one of the best parts is above. And then so. Brazil just on the other side. Yeah, then... Brazil's on that side. Okay, and then uh, we're going to take the train back all the way back to here and then walk back and be back at the entrance and yeah that's it guys it takes about five hours to do it and uh we're just on the first train here circuit circuit inferior this will take us to the lower waterfalls to get pictures of the lower waterfalls so there's an alligator just chilling right there wow so not only is this park amazing there's tons and tons you can hear we're in the jungle and there's tons and tons of there's like snakes alligators that I just showed you there and then there's tons of poisonous stuff here so it is right on the edge of uh, Brazil Paraguay and Argentina so coming up to the first uh, lookout point here and we've already seen an alligator unbelievable <laughs> all right let's do this so here we are at the start of the lower trail and it takes about an hour and a half to complete the lower trail so here we go alligator check spider check 
We're definitely, definitely, definitely in the jungle. Nunez Falls. Well, we made it to the lower point here and I am just blown away right now. This is just something else, guys. <sighs> wow. It's almost like a painting that I'm looking at. It's just, it's too good to be true. Something we'll definitely remember over our six month trip is seeing these falls, the Guazu Falls, and seeing it from the Argentinian side for sure. This herd is the best side to see it from. Look at that. Wow, and there's a rainbow down there as well.
Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> so we're finished with the yellow trail, which is a very, very low trail. It takes about an hour and a half. We did it about an hour and 20. And now we're going to be doing the blue trail. The blue trail takes about two hours. So we're doing the blue trail now. Continuing the trail guys, we're going to the Bosetti Waterfalls. So this is the blue circuit, as I showed you on the, mar on the map earlier. So there's a whole bunch of alligators and crocodiles and stuff all in these waters. So you gotta be careful where you're stepping, especially when I'm filming. But it's a gorgeous day here. so far seeing it from both perspectives now we're gonna take a train that takes us up to Devil's Throat which is at the very top if you look on the map that we showed you earlier um, yes yeah, so we're heading up to do Devil's Throat and then we're pretty much almost done it's uh, unbelievable here so far love and life here in uh, Guazu Falls Woo! walking along here and this is at the top it's the orange trail which is at the very top so from Argentina's side you should uh, it's called devil's throat you should be able to see uh, the top of the waterfalls so 
And then you should be able to see Brazil in the background. Uh, we're walking there right now. It's been one hell of a day. And we're going to end it at uh, the Devil's Throat, is what it's called. So, almost there. Coming up to Devil's Throat here. Look at this. to see this that was just magnificent I have to say definitely one of the best things I've ever seen with my own eyes he says um, that a lot. I do say that a lot but here is just amazing I've never seen amazing falls like that oh. even Niagara Falls in Toronto um, it, you this can't one? even build it oh, oh, oh wow look at it so we literally just bumped into our fellow hostel member who was back in uh, where was it was it uh, Mendoza where we met him or where? Oh, Atacama. Uh, but yeah, back in uh, Atacama Desert, we just bumped into him. So I thought that was actually quite hilarious. When you're in hostels, you actually see quite a bit of people who are in other hostels. So now we're on our way back. Yeah. 